Good evening. In tonight's video about Stendhal Game, I'm not actually going to log into the game and show you any gameplay. What I want to show you is the wealth of information that's available on our server website. It's not just got the information that you might expect, like the latest news, or screenshots about the game, or videos like this one. It's also got a lot of information about the items and the creatures and the achievements and the quests that you might find when you're playing the game. So I'm just going to scroll down the screen. Let's have a look at the items. There's 443 items in the game and they're classified by the item type. Here's all the types of armour that are available. Let's have a look at the golden armour. Here there's detailed descriptions of the attributes of the armour. And you can also find out exactly which creatures drop the armour and with which probabilities they would drop the item. As you can see, it's quite a lot of creatures that drop golden armour. Scroll back up. Some of them are very rare, of course. On the creatures page, you can see descriptions of all the creatures in the game, pictures of them, and it's ordered by level. Let's go and look at some of the highest level creatures. Let's look at the Golden Death, level 450. You probably won't meet that for a while if you start playing today. The information that's given about the creature is all its attributes, including the statistics, which I've described in a separate YouTube video for players the magical types of attack and defence, and also exactly what the creature drops, including probabilities. There's also just statistics about kills of the creature by players, or kills by the creature of players. As you can see, the Golden Death hasn't killed very many players, but it's been killed by a lot of players. It's ordered by date. The Atlas page gives you an overview of the whole world at ground level. As you can see, it's a really huge world because this little area here is Sema City. I don't know if you recognize the buttons in the interface here, but we're actually using Google Maps. So we can zoom in and drag the map around just like for Google Maps. We can get a lot more detail about the area of the map that we're interested in. Or we can just zoom all the way back out. Great. Of course there's a lot more to the world than just what you see at ground level because there's dungeons below the ground and areas above the ground that you can access as well as buildings indoors. But this atlas is just showing the ground level. For achievements, these are things that are achieved outside the game. Well, I don't really mean outside the game. Achievements track things in the game, but from a role-playing perspective, they're not something that the game world would acknowledge. So, um, let me try and give you an example. Here, this big city explorer to visit all outside zones in the Ados region. This is an achievement that your characters will achieve when, as the description implies, you've visited all, all outside zones in the Ados region. It's been earned by 169 characters so far, but it's not something that's recognised within the role-playing aspect of the game, such as amongst the non-playing characters. You can see who's reached this achievement recently. There's more to get at from this page other than information pages. You can link to our manual, beginner's guide. You can find out how to make a support ticket, chat with developers. And over on the other side here, you can see how to contribute. So there's all sorts of things you can do to contribute. It might be as simple to you as just reporting a bug for something you've seen. Bugs are a fact of life and we love to hear about them so that we can fix them. You might have new ideas for contributing to quests. You might want to submit a patch to our open source code. You may want to help us testing the latest versions or you might want to see the changes. In fact let's just have a quick look at that because it's quite interesting. 
So we use version control for our changes and you can have a look at the recent game development. And here you can see who's been contributing to the code and what the changes have been. This is just from one month. And here we are, there's a little brief description about each of the changes. So, there's an awful lot to look at just from our website. Have a little bit of an investigation and see what you think. Look into the Hall of Fame and see if you can ever see yourself there. Look at the recent events after you've played and see if you come up. Look at the number of players online when you are in game and see if you spot yourself. If you do, why not you take a look at your character page and find out perhaps even more information about yourself than you might have noticed in the game. Here, for example, you can see all your achievements. And you can also see when you've died, unfortunately. So, our server website is more than just a way to come and play the game by clicking play now. There's a whole wealth of information that's open to you and we hope that you enjoy exploring it.